secret bait there, mate. That's uh, a bit of Spanish mackerel, mate. They're slabbed up, stripped up, ready to go. Big flesh bait, straight on the bottom. It should be a good day. The, the, the further the day goes on, the wind will drop out a bit more. We'll um, get out and sort of fish about 50, 50 to 60 metre country. I hope it's reds, nannies, trout, big cod, that sort of stuff. Uh, red throat won't be a stray. Yeah, hopefully it's a good day. We'll drop some big baits down, some big fish. We should probably do a mate, making a lot of noise over there. A lot of noise? That's all he ever does is make noise, mate. <laughs> Oh, she likes to be quiet. <laughs> Keen to get a couple, you know. It's been a while. What do you reckon, Luke, you going to have a go today? Not that there, you every day, Luke. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Been a while since you've been out there, Lukey. Yeah, mate. But, uh, I think February for the King of Kings comp was the last time we got out, so pretty keen, pretty excited. So we're field testing today for Pen. Um, we've got the, the new Spin Fisher reels that they've just released. Quite a uh, historical reel from uh, from Pen. Uh, there's, there's a lot of history behind it. My, uh, my father and grandfather actually used them way back, yeah, cheeky bugger, way back in the, uh, the early days when they first come out. And it's uh, almost humbling to be able to be a, a part of the, the new release. When I unboxed them last night, I was really impressed. They're um, built like a brick shit house. So we're uh, excited to get out, put them to the limits. Um, yeah, they've, they're, they're the kind of reel that is just going to, you can treat it really, really bad. You don't have to, don't have to look after it. Um, you don't have to polish it after every trip. Rinse and repeat. That's that's going to be where this this reel fits. So, for us up here, we can throw it in the rod holder. Day like today, we've got 10 to 15s. We're going to have spray all day. You don't have to worry about it getting salt water on it because um, it's it's going to get a wedge of salt water, salt water, blood, guts, everything. It's it's going to be put to put to the works today. So, let's uh, let's go see what it can do. So to start off with, we'll just run down a couple of couple of standard baits, a couple of pillies, a couple of squid. Um, we're thinking it's going to be nannies here, so we'll punch those down on a double double drop of an oster rig, uh, bounce them around the bottom. Once the tide starts to move a bit more, we'll probably up the baits, go chase a few big reds, and um, yeah, see how we go with that lot. I'm just uh, running a few grid lines here, just trying to locate exactly which part of this the structure the fish is sitting on. They usually usually predominantly be on one side according to the tide. Then it's just a matter of us trying to position the boat right to get on top of them. It's quite easy to be 20 metres out. And on these small structures, if you're 20 metres out, you might as well be 200 metres out. When the conditions are sort of against you, it gets tough to drift fish. We know what I'd like to do is sort of point the back end of the boat into the waves, keep it in reverse so we can stay on top. We're not letting out 300 yards of line before we even get to the bottom. It doesn't always work, but when the conditions aren't right, it makes it tough. Definitely bigger than wades. Definitely have to be bigger. Mate, this reel is feeling excellent. 
first fish on it. Nice and smooth. He was not quite big enough to pull any drag off it yet, but he's gonna be a substantial fish to pull drag. They've got some serious drag power, these reels, so. Should have color here in just a minute. They get a lot bigger than that yet. First one on the new spin fisher. That's not a bad start. Nearly all of our fishing, Lukey and I have done together over the years, and uh, we, we work quite well as a team. Even though there's a competition, we uh, we, we still have to have to buddy up and, and make it work. So, majority of the time, he he runs the back deck. I'll uh, I'll drive the boat, turn us around, get us back on the fish. By the time we're there, he's got the fish off, bled in the bucket, baits back on the lines, and we're ready to drop. Saves time. It's efficient and teamwork. It works, but. Someone has to be a captain of a team. Oh, Manny. There's a better one. That's a better fish. Oh, yeah, mate. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> Got some nice head shakes there. Oh, yeah. Come on. Up we go. Up we go. Handling it with ease. Nice and smooth. <sighs> Plenty of line retrieval. Get that line back. Keep his head turned. That's what you need in this deep water. Yeah, get that colour very soon. Big gold band. Nice goldie, mate. These things are the pit bulls of the ocean. They let you know about it. Go extremely hard. Beautiful fish. Good on the table, too. Here he is. There he goes. Yep. We're on. Make that two. Oh, double that bigger. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Dougie, when we race, you're racing me to the boat because you've got a smaller fish. We don't know yet. Is it about who, who finishes first or who catches the bigger one? Seconds first, loser, mate. Just get up here. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. oh, baby red. Undersized red, undersized red. How cute are they? Yeah, another little red. Cute little fish, but we're after his big brother. They release really well. Unlike the nannies, they don't suffer from the barotoma. Just make sure that you travel off your mark a little bit before you let them go, because there's usually a shark or two there. And um, yeah, great little fish. They're gonna grow into a big one. We'll be back. Yep. We're right. Just a quick little how-to here with our baits. That's our doggy mackerel there, cut up into proportion pieces. You can see how it's just perfect there. Each hook's gonna be in there. Once you've got them sized up there, ready to go, we always go in through the skin first, so the tip comes out in the flesh. That's the bit the fish are gonna eat first, not the skin. Mackerel are nice, they haven't really got scales like your husser and, and other fish that you might use for bait. But come through the skin, it helps hold it on there. Start with your bottom hook, poke him through, Nice and straight. A well presented bait is worth an incredible amount of money. See how it sits nice and straight down there? It's gonna float around, attracting all the fish. You've got plenty of hook exposure coming out of that flesh. The skin around here is gonna help hold it together, but allow the pickers to make that burly plume down there which attracts all the big fish in. It's working a treat for us so far today. So I think Wado's just about got us back on the spot. We'll get down here and send it down again. It's always the most worrying part when you're fishing hard on the bottom around these rocks. They dust you up. Oh, he's not done yet. That's a good one, yes. That's what we come here for. Yeah, buddy. Look at that go. <laughs> Yes! What were we just saying, you run those big fleshy baits, you let the little husser and stuff just pack away and pack away, hold your urge to strike. No one likes it when you go off too early, especially not the missus. But have patience, and eventually you'll come up gold. Well, hopefully rent with these pair. 
I think I've got a nanny or a gal being on swap side, mate. Oh, mate. Double hook up, Fergie. Not bad, mate. Bread and butter species of the reef. We keep tickling through, we'll eventually get something red come up. Yeah. If I was to give my three best tips to someone who wanted to go offshore bottom bashing for bread and butter species, number one, fresh bait. Yep. Number two, a decent quality sounder that reads at speed so you can find your country. And number three would be a dependable reel that is going to be there for you trip in, trip out. That's it. So I guess that's where the spin fishes are working for us at the moment, they're, hey? They're brilliant, mate. I mean, some people may look at it and go, oh, it's just a grassy sweet lip. But well, this must be pretty close to 50 centimetres. Or you can and, um, more. You know, they pull just as hard out of 60 metres of water as anything will. That's and right. They're a good test out, so. And a welcome, welcome adversary to the esky. Definitely. Let's get some more, hey? Yeah, let's do it. That's a good fish. This is the one we want, mate. Yeah, good fish here. We hooked up to another good one. Here we go. Oh, nice red emperor. Central Queensland Red Emperor. I know the GT boys love that surface stuff, but for us bottom bashers, you can't go past the Red Emperor. It's right up there. It's 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 a coming of age, knocking your first legal one, and then and it just becomes a challenge every weekend after that. You've got to get out and do it. We love it. We're going to do it forever. Just such awesome fish. What do you reckon, mate? Cool morning? That was very good, mate. Very good at all. We knocked a few fish. Got a few fish there. Gave them a good testing, eh? Tell me, what do you reckon? I was very Spin impressed, fisher. mate. Very, very impressed. impressed? Very, very impressed. It, um, usually when old reels get revamped, they're still an old reel just with a paint and coat on them. But not these ones. We uh, gave them a serious testing out. The drag is phenomenally smooth. That Isn't was a it big what? Yeah. Out. Real yeah. big stand out. Yep, I love the drag too. As you touched on, like, how good do they look? Yeah. The black and gold, it's, it's hard to go past. Black and gold, and it's, you know, it's not paint. That, that's that's full metal construction. Yep. Nothing's tipping off, nothing's Solid flaking eight. away. You're not going to get corrosion or any of that sort of rubbish that deteriorates a good looking reel. Uh, I really like the new uh, line keeper on the side of them. Being able to get your leader in there is awesome, isn't especially it? Especially big leader. Yep. Like we, we fish, you know, a 100, 150 pound leader and some of this nasty reef out here. Yep. You don't have to wrap them in cotton wool, you can take them out. Yep. Take Perfect. them to hell and back, get them home, hit them with a garden hose, rinse and repeat, and you're off again tomorrow. Perfect all round, aren't they? Buddy O. Speaking of which, I think it's time to get home. Stubby? Stubby. Let's go.